There's a small little cemetery in Redford, Michigan that most people don't even know exists. Mount Hazel Cemetery, 1855. One of the very originators of the blues is buried here. He was doing it before Robert Johnson was. Way back in the beginning in the Mississippi Delta by the name of Sun House. He's buried here in Detroit. And not a lot of people know it. Don't you mind people running in your face. Don't mind people grinning in your face. I say bear this in mind. A true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face. Watching Sunhouse sing the blues was an incredible experience. When he began a song, he became energized, and the years seemed to roll away. He closed his eyes, and the sweat broke out on his face. He started in a low voice, which became louder and louder. It was as if, as if he went into a trance and somehow willed himself to another time and another place. He went to Robinsonville, or to Clarksdale, or to Greenville. He went back to 1931 or 1941, or some other place in time. The verses tumbled forth, and the song went an un indeterminate length. Five minutes, 10, 15, as long as it took for the story to be told. Other blues singers, great in their own way, would watch Sunhouse sing the blues and just shake their heads. He was the benchmark of their artistry. He was the measuring stick by which blues singers are to be forever judged. On October 19th, 1988, every blues singer in the world moved up one place in the rankings. There was a vacancy at the very top. Eddie James Sunhouse. The story says that years later, somebody Realized he was buried here after years and nobody knew it. And they came out and dedicated this tombstone. I know Jack White was a huge fan. I don't know if he, if he had anything to do with it. Um, I know the record companies did too. I'm going to hear a bottle opener lighter. Oh, Anna Popovich. She's a good loose. Singer, what else we got here? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Anyways, thought I would just share a little bit of that. I stop by here once in a while and say hi to Sun. I'm a huge fan of the old blues. If you appreciate the blues or history or just looking for places to find in Detroit, things to do, give the video a thumbs up and a like. Comment down below. I'll tell you where it is. Thanks.